Hello, Deborah Swift here. I'm going to seek to demonstrate a little part of knitting two color brioche rib in the round. Now here's my end of round marker and I've been working here a brioche pearl row in the black which is color B. Color A is the color I used to cast on and it's making these columns of knit stitches on the right side. That's the white marbled color. And the black is the pearl stitches and the shawls between the ribs. So back when I started this round, I had finished a brioche knit or bark round and the last stitch was a slip one yarn over began this new round, this burp round, with a, with a slip stitch yarn over. But so this one is a black stitch with a white shawl, and then I left that hanging at the end of the round. This is a white stitch with a black shawl. And so I've been working a black round. So as I'm coming around to the end of this round, it's a uh, the burp round in black. I brioche pearl, slip one yarn over. Here's the last stitch of the round, brioche pearl. Now, at the end of a burp round, and I've used the background color, color B, it's uh, not the knit co columns are the white and the pearl columns that show on the back are black. So, come to the end of the round, drop the working yarn in front so both yarns are hanging there. I'm going to move my marker. Now the, these strands look kind of twisted around each other. What you want to do is kind of let them, you know, untwist. So here's A, and here's B. So I'm going to pick up A and keep it in front of B. I'm going to bring it across this way. And I take it to the back because it's going to be a brioche knit round between the needle tips, not over to get a yarn over, but between just to get it to the back. So this next stitch, the first one of the round, is an A stitch, an A stitch, a white stitch with a black shawl. I'm going to brioche knit that. Slip one yarn over, brioche knit. But let's look behind us. Here's the end of round marker, and we have a plain black stitch is the last stitch here and a plain white stitch is the first one here. So I'm going to continue working this brioche knit round. And when I come back around, we'll look at how to change from a brioche knit round in white to the brioche pearl in black. Okay, so I've worked around, coming near the end of the round here. Brioche knit. Slip one yarn over. Brioche knit. I'm coming to the last stitch of the round, which is a plain pearl stitch in the background color, B. So I'm ready to do a slip one yarn over, so I do that. Slip one yarn over. Bring the yarn all the way around the needle to the front. Slip my marker. And now look, we've got B hanging down here, lower down, and A hanging to the front here. So I'm going to pick up the new collar for the next round, the black. I'm going to keep it underneath A. I'm not going to cross it over in the front. I'm going to keep it down underneath. Now the first stitch I want to do I'm faced with a plain knit stitch 
so I need to slip it and give it a shawl. So I'm going to slip and give it a shawl because this yarn that was hanging in the front, I'm going to bring it up over the needle to give a shawl to that slip stitch. Bring yarn to the front. It's brioche pearl. Slip and yarn over. So I slip and yarn over brioche pearl. Slip and yarn over brioche pearl. And looking back where we came from, again, at the end of a bark and start of a burp round, we have a black stitch with a white shawl and the yarn's hanging to the front, and then a white stitch with a black shawl beginning the burp, the burp, the brioche pearl round. So that's how you make the two changes. I hope that's helpful.